What's up guys? It's your boy Celebrated here. Celebrated tips, guides, and reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing the game Riverbond. Now free with Xbox Game Pass and $22 if you want to buy the full game right now without Game Pass. Um, Riverbond is described as a shoot and slash dungeon crawler that combines a handcrafted adventure with a destructible voxel world. Avenger solo or co-op. Now, this game was very highly doubted, I feel like, coming out. It was an indie game that kinda stole the artwork from Minecraft. A lot of people thought that this might just be a Minecraft copy, almost. Um, but it's really not. And the artwork in this game is amazing. It's not exactly Minecraft-like, but it is very pixelated art. An idea that Minecraft really owns, you currently could say. Um, but Riverbond is a very relaxed, but yet mind-pacing game. When I mention these kinds of games, stuff like Rocket League comes to mind. A lot of people don't understand that when you're playing Rocket League, you don't really care about the outcome a whole lot, or at least most people don't. It's just a game that you play with your friends, but yet it is addictive, it is mind pacing, and it will keep you on the edge of your seat with your hands on the controller. And I really enjoyed playing this game, uh, what I did get to play of it so far, and I hope I get to play a lot more of it. Uh, this is a game that I could easily see putting 30 to 50 hours into because it is really addictive playing it. The plot of it can be really good because there's a lot of the levels and a lot of the things you have to do is seen as super silly, like defeating chickens to like defeating chicken eggs or whatever while chickens are violently trying to attack you. So it's a lot of like silly plot like that, but it's also really good. It's super addictive. Like I said, the gameplay of it is really good compared to what you would think going in. Because even when you're first reading like your very first dialogue, you don't think this is going to be a good game. But the second you're able to control your character and you actually go on a mission, you realize how addictive this is. Now, I would describe it as a really good mobile type game. Because it kind of plays out like a mobile game, but at the same time it's a lot better than that. So, Riverbond is a indie game which was made by the company Coco Cucumber. Not a huge company, but I feel like this was probably one of their better successes. When you uh, when you search Coco Cucumber on Bing, just regular cucumber images are going to pop up and I had to scroll down to get to the Coco Cucumber website, which kind of tells you just how indie this uh, game maker is. So Coco Cucumber so far has made Bunny Bonker, Planet of the Eyes, and now Riverbond. And Riverbond was the really only successful one. That's the one they're pushing on their website. Riverbond is the game that Coco Cucumber wants people to see. If they had to pick one of them, that would be the one. Uh, just visiting their website. So if I had to rate this game, I'd give it a, a solid 8.5 out of 10. And I would say that it is a must download if you have a Game Pass. Even if you don't have Game Pass, this is one of the better $20 games I've played. Like I said, it's aligned with Rocket League and that simplistic laid back game that still races your mind and is still very addictive and keeps you on the edge of your controller. And if you guys enjoyed this review, please hit that subscribe button and comment down below what your thoughts on Riverbond were and maybe how I could better my reviews in the future, what you guys want to see from me in the future. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.